So we're back in the factory today printing another beautiful book. Lies here printing behind the scenes of how we make all the book. A few weeks ago I was here printing industrial people in Los Angeles and it gave me an idea for a project but they're calling me for the press check so let's get into it. So I really miss the feeling of film. You know, like when the Canon first dropped the Rebel, the digital version of the Rebel, I bought it. I've been using digital cameras ever since, but I miss that slow feeling of making photography where every picture counts, where you have to go and wait to get the film developed, and then you get to open up the envelope, and finally get to see your shots. Each roll has only 36 shots in it, it's not like the digital camera or even like the phone camera where you can take hundreds of hundreds of shots and there's for me there was like I, no feeling and no creating memories with that kind of photography so seeing this book about the industrial people of Los Angeles and me just buying this camera I wanted to go around the factory take some shots with film and hopefully uh, get some nice snaps so let's go give it a try. Right now we have a little bit of a problem with the book. The line art is printing with 4C instead of 1C and they're just black lines. So what that means is you have like a black line that's printing with four colors. And it's very easy for the registration to get off and the image, the line that's supposed to be crisp is going to look blurry. So we're not sure if they can fix it upstairs or we have to supply new files. They're checking right now, so the printing currently is put on hold until it resolves this issue. I love the feeling of loading the new film in, taking the old film that you just shot out, hoping that there's some gem photos on there. The tactile feeling of cocking the hammer, listening to the shutter drop, you know, I've missed this so much. And going back to the story about my father is that when he decided to give up his AE-1 Canon, he actually gave it to me. And it was my first camera that I used when I started getting into photography. And somewhere down the road it got lost or given away. I have no idea what happened to it, but when I saw that this used one from 1981 was available for sale, I just had to buy it, you know. It's definitely, film is not cheap. Every shot, you know, costs money, but I just missed the satisfaction of using film. Like I started back 30 years ago. So we were trying to print the ends before we left, but they don't have the color proofs to match. It's kind of a really sucky printing day. Hopefully, we have some nice shots with the camera. We're still looking for the ends. We're gonna hang out for a few minutes, see what happens. If not, we're gonna call it a day and be done. So it finally arrived. I just got the package I was waiting for. These are the pictures we took in the factory. Hopefully they came out good. Let's go and find out. So we just looked at the photos. To be honest, they're way too dark. None of them you can see how dark they are. Didn't come out as good as I was hoping, but uh, the process of making these pictures was fun. There's a few good ones, 
You know, like the one of me and uh, Bly together. I like this one a lot. But most of them are just... I wasn't using the right settings. It's just way too dark. But that's the that's the nature of film, right? It's uh, it's real photography. You you never know how the picture is going to come out, and you only can get better by doing. Of course, there's a cost with every shot. And as you can see, this is another roll that I took. Apparently, I didn't load the film good, and the the roll is completely empty. But yeah, that's it. So most of these pictures are garbage. Got one good shot of the security guard and me and him together. But uh, we'll, we'll make it better next time. So we're out.